Hello, I'm Dr. Nicola Gaither at the Animal Hospital of Statesville and we have just talked to you about all things puppy care when you adopt a puppy. <laughs> But sometimes you find a puppy and you may want to take care of that or even adopt it later. So we're going to answer some questions along those lines. So many people adopt a puppy from a shelter or a breeder. However, sometimes the puppies just come to you. So what should you do if you find a puppy? Here are some common questions. So how do I know if a puppy is orphaned? Great question. So depending on where you are, you might want to look around the location. If you find a puppy that's all by itself, a little bit of that would depend on the age of the puppy. If the puppy doesn't look like it's running around or could have just wandered off from its mom, then it, it could definitely be abandoned. And also maybe the overall size, if the puppy looks underweight or acts very, very hungry, that might be a cue that it is abandoned. How can I help a mother dog give birth? With that, you kind of want to know some of the normal signs. And so some of the normal things when a mom is giving birth would be that they do some normal nesting behavior. They, and then the further stages of labor, they would actually start to actively contract. So you would see her trying to push a puppy out. And if that happens and it's more than, more than an hour for sure, probably less than that, but more than an hour and no puppy is coming out, that would be a sign that you would need to seek veterinary care. Um, also things to have on hand to be prepared would be like clean towels. Um, you want to make sure you have some warm, maybe some warm towels to kind of rub them off and dry them off with. The mom's going to do a lot of the stuff herself. Uh, mm -hmm. But you also may want to have supplies like maybe a little suction uh, to get rid of some of the mucus that might be around their mouth um, area and then maybe even some thread to tie off an umbilical cord if that doesn't happen the right way. So you kind of want to be prepared for that ahead of time. Obviously mm. if you just come upon the mom, you may not be prepared, but if right. you know it's coming, do your research ahead of time and kind of know what to do so you're not panicked. Right, and there's more things, but that's just the quick answer for that. So how do I keep a newborn puppy warm? One way is if it's with its mom, then the mom's going to do most of that. And so you would just want to make sure mom has a great place to lay. So off of the floor surface itself, um, depending on the time of year, that may or may not be as big of a factor. Mm -hmm. But you may want to have a certain type of bedding. Blankets you want to be careful of because you don't want the puppy to get just kind of like a baby with a blanket. You don't want them to get suffocated or mom to roll over and not see the puppy. How do I care for a puppy without their mother? If the puppy doesn't have a mom and you're the one taking care of it, then temperature is going to be a little more of a concern. Uh, the younger the puppy, the less able they are, the less likely they are able to regulate their own body temperature. So you might need to help them with that. Um, and depending on if they're needing to be bottle fed or if they can eat food on their own, um, you know, warmth, proper nutrition, and shelter are probably the basic needs of a young puppy. So how do I care for a newborn puppy that's been found with the mama? I would say again taking care of mom would be the most important because if she's healthy then she can take care of baby so making sure that she has a good quality food nutrition is just the biggest part of puppy mm -hmm. care and 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 care for the mom um, so a lot of times we'll recommend that mom be on a puppy food which is for growth so that that allows her to have the right um, nutrients available to nurse those puppies uh, you want to make sure she's free of any external parasites which might be like fleas and ticks that can carry diseases and make her sick and then even thinking about deworming for internal parasites. Um, so just taking care of mom can do wonders for the baby. And how do I know if a puppy that I've found is healthy? If the puppy is um, active, that's a great sign. If the puppy is eating or drinking, of course, once you you know find um, find that out and offer the food, um, then that would be a great way to know that the body's functioning well, normal bowel movements. Just looking externally for any discharge would be one way just when you first find it, if there's any drainage of the nose, drainage of the eyes, um, and then looking through the fur, are there any obvious parasites on the outside would be a good way. Can a veterinarian help a puppy find a home if I've found one? 
That's a great question. Some more than others. We do uh, know some rescues and, and of course the local shelter that helps to, that is their role, you know, in, in finding and taking care of um, unwanted or unhomed puppies and kittens. Um, but some of those places are overwhelmed and, and that's a sad part that we have a pet overpopulation, um, you know, problem. Uh, we here at the animal hospital do have a board where you can put pictures and, and it, your information up if you have a, a pet that you're looking for a home for. Mm -hmm. Um, so I say yes in general, we would have resources to maybe connect you to. But we do not keep them at the clinic. That's right. The resources, so. yep, but not directly. What is fading puppy syndrome and how can I avoid it with a puppy? Fading puppy syndrome is, is um, syndrome, so it's really broad, but basically it's when a puppy is born and they look healthy, but then within the next two to three weeks of life, they start to fade and, and die. Um, and that can be caused by several different diseases or viruses, usually passed from the mom, um, whether that disease is passed directly to the puppy or whether because the mom was infected, the puppy has a, a lower immune system or a, a, a not as healthy immune system. Um, so again, kind of the rip Repetitive, going back to making sure mom is healthy, make sure she has her preventative um, wellness care that we would recommend for mom. Uh, good nutrition can help keep mom healthy and then um, also makes puppy healthy. Healthy moms equal help, healthy babies. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, adopting an orphaned or a very young puppy is a big responsibility, so make sure you're prepared to follow through with your care as that puppy will need your, like all babies, need their moms. So sleepless nights and busy days are the rule here. <laughs> we want to help you be prepared should you be faced with this situation. So please call us if you have questions. We're here to help. Thank you. Thanks.